Hey fellow tennis nerds, I hope you're doing well. In this video I want to talk about Cameron Norrie and his racket. Cameron Norrie has made a spectacular rise in the rankings this year. He's reached three ATP Tour Finals, one title and uh, now is ranked at 29 in the world. Very impressive rise from Cameron. Um, Cameron plays with something that looks like a pure strike Pure Strike Tour or Pure Strike 98, but like with most pro players, he's actually playing something different. This is what he is endorsing. It is what it's paint jobbed as. This is the how uh, racket manufacturers sell more rackets, obviously, and they get ambassadors to endorse a racket. Not in all cases, but I would say 95% or even more. And uh, they get someone to endorse it. Before they used to call it use, but then due to lawsuits, they, they can't do that anymore. So they always say endorse, but usually it's a heavily modified racket. It's an older model. It's something that that pro is familiar with, has played with a long time. It's rarely a racket that is available to you to buy right now in the retail market. Some cases, Musetti, for example, plays with an extreme tour with some customization. There are situations where that happens. Dominic Thiem is, is allegedly using this Pure Strike, the third generation, with some customization. So there are situations where this is, is true. Federer, you can actually buy something very close to his racket with the Pro Staff RF97 autograph. But overall, this is what you see that the pros are playing with something very different under a paint job. So Cameron Ori endorses the Pure Strike Generation 3. How do you find out that he's not using Generation 3? Well, you can zoom in on the racket, you can study the mold, see how if it looks like a Pure Strike, you can put two pictures next to each other and compare. In this case, uh, if you look at older images of Cameron Norrie, you see that he's using an old Pure Control Tour. And the easiest way to find out if, if he's actually still using something like that is to count the strings. And if you count the strings on his racket, on a new picture, you will see that he has 16 mains, which is 16 mains and 20 crosses. So instead of the 19 crosses for the, the Pure Strike, there is also an 1820 version, but this is 1620, which is what the old Pure Control Tour had as a string pattern. Very nice racket, but discontinued by Babola. I hope they will bring it back at some point because I think they deserve a, a heavier, more control focused line, but maybe they haven't seen the sales from this kind of, of uh, racket, so uh, they decided to discontinue it. But it's a shame because it's a very nice and, and highly playable frame. Many pros hire customizers to get the rackets matched. They get X number of rackets from the manufacturer and then they, they need to match them. And sometime, in some cases they can come straight from the manufacturer ready to go, but many of them also use customizers. Uh, for Cameron, he uses DC customizing in Belgium, I think they're based. They have these stickers on the racket so you can actually see the spec, which is great for us tennis nerds. If we can find a, a really in-depth picture, a really zoomed in picture, we can actually get the specs. And if we look at his, his specs, this was actually from a post by Arthur Reynis on Tennis Nerd, the Facebook group, We Are All Tennis Nerds, I think where he posted it. Uh, so he has interesting specs. Uh, weight, 327 grams without strings. Um, balance, 31.3 centimeters without strings, nine points headlight, that is. And the unstrung swing weight, 299. Uh, then you can, you know, figure out based on, you know, what, what the usual weight when you add strings to a racket what the strong specs are and i think judging by by pictures that he's using alu power but i'm not 100 percent sure if you string up his racket at an overgrip i would say the specs will land around 350 grams 32 centimeters and around 330 swing weight maybe one two points higher depending on how thick the gauge is he's using i would bet 125 but i don't know for sure so that's one way to to figure out that he's not using the racket he's endorsing he's he's using an older version which is not really shocking news at this point and more news about uh, pro play rackets you can find this on this playlist i have pro play racket playlist on this channel or you can go to tennisner.net where i post all the articles most of them make it into a video but not all of them so if you want specific info, go to tennisnerd.net. If we talk about Nori, how far can he go? He's made this very impressive rise in the rankings this year. Uh, I think he should be a pretty steady top 20 player. He has no huge weapons, 
but a good tennis mind, hard worker, pretty balanced, nice footwork and fast movement. A very solid player. Uh, his height is, is 188, so 6'2", 25 years old, uh, originally from South Africa, Johannesburg, turned pro only four years ago. Went to US college before that. He's a lefty, which always makes it a bit tricky for, for your opponents when the guy plays from another angle. So a very interesting player, fun to watch. Uh, has this kind of uh, shoveling backhand motion that I find pretty, pretty interesting. Just looking at his game doesn't tell you that it's like a huge game, but he has uh, the mental and the tactical abilities to really a win on all levels and he's shown that this year uh, with with the really impressive results uh, reaching three finals and winning a title uh, idols growing up andrew agassi rafael nadal nothing really strange there his favorite surface is hard court his favorite shot is backhand and tournament is wimbledon so um, cameron nori have made some strides in his game how far do you think he will go this video dealt with his racket i hope you found it somewhat useful and uh, please keep in mind that most of these pros actually use older rackets that they then customize to their liking and they don't change every time a new racket line comes out. That would be very strange. You know, you want your racket to be an extension of your arm and then if you have to always change your racket every two years when there's a new line, uh, you're not gonna be able to play tennis on that level that the pros are. So um, that's good to understand. Please subscribe to the channel. Uh, I know a lot of you are not subscribed. I would really appreciate if you do take the time to subscribe. Uh, it helps a lot. And also if you put in comments and you are subscribed, I will prioritize those comments. Uh, so in, in my weekly Q&A videos that I'm, I'm launching now. So I will do a weekly question and answers video dealing with your comments and uh, you know some priority to subscribers because I think you need a, you need a pat on the back. If you want to support Tennis Nerd in other ways, you can say thanks through YouTube, small donation, or you can join patreon.com slash tennis nerd, where you, for a few bucks a month, get unique content every week, a chat function, and, and so on. Nice community of, of tennis nerds there. And if you want to buy a racket, string, shoe, whatever, please check out my affiliate links, Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Only, and Tennis Warehouse Europe. That's all for this one. Have a nice day, and don't forget to play some tennis.